Yo, what's up guys? Jason here. Um, we're out in the garage here getting stuff ready for the 2021 season. Um, ended up picking up a new boat, new to me. Um, just a straight trade with my old smoker craft. So I feel like uh, I came out really good on the deal. Um, I'm happy with the boat. You know, it's kind of, you know, something that I've always wanted was a bass boat. And we ended up getting her. So for those of you that don't know, and most of my friends, my catfishing and sturgeon friends are going to make fun of me for saying this but this year i plan to chase a lot of tournaments and a lot of those tournaments consist of bass fishing um the biggest reasoning behind that is i mean yes i love sturgeon i love cat fishing more than anything else but let's be honest the amount of tournaments that we get are little to none and non-existing and if i want to try to wheedle some of my money back out of this then you know or more of the pride i guess you know not so much money unless i somewhat go somewhere but you know the odds of that nowadays are pretty slim but anyways i'm gonna give you a tour of what my 2021 bass fishing um tournament boat how it's organized how i got it set up so in here i put some stickers there from all my mystery tackle boxes um you come into here and by the way guys this is a nitro 700 lx so if you guys want to get a little gist of it, if you're looking into this boat, I know I had looked when I was looking and there wasn't too much online as far as reviews. So right here, I'm going to have my soft plastics. So this is going to be creature trailers. This bag weighs about 30 pounds. Stick baits and tube and swim baits. So that's going to be pretty much like just my bulk of my plastics. So... Go out on a tournament day, I'm going to take all the stuff that works good, and I got this little speed bag right here that I'm going to put all the stuff, you know, that matters to me for that day in there, and then I have all my spare stuff in there. So anyways, that's kind of all I got cooking in right there right now. I'm probably going to throw my throw vest and some other stuff deeper in there as the storage unit does go back quite a ways, um, almost to the front of the boat actually, about right where that foot guide is. I actually got a recessed trolling motor tray coming to as well and I gotta mount my graph up front so anyways grab my keys here I tried recording a video before but this ended up being locked and instead of editing it I figured I'd start it over but anyways let's go into here I believe this one's gonna have just a couple spinning rods um nothing fancy um I do gotta I do gotta get some more bass fishing rods um just a lot more, you know, bass fishing, it's a lot of technique-specific rods, and I'm uh, I'm doing pretty good. I got most of the stuff I need, you know, the main stuff that I fish with. So, yeah, in here we pull spinning rods. Um, I never throw a spinner bait on a spinning rod. I think that's from one of the kids. So um, there's my finesse rod. Uh, and this does actually fit longer rods than you would think. That is a 7'6 rod. This is only a 17-foot boat, and the deck's only a 5-foot deck, but fits in there. So anyways, there you got some spinning rods. Let's go over here. This is probably going to be more of the money cabinet, uh, more of the cabinet that I uh, go into more often than not um, to get my rods when I'm out on tournaments or even pre-fishing. So right in there you got pretty much all my bay casters. Um, a lot of technique specific, like right there, I got my jigging rod, um, I got my spinner bait rod, um, frogging rod, top water, um, and then I got some 6-6 for like pitching small jigs and stuff and tight quarters, you know, sometimes you get in those back canals. So a lot of technique specific rods, but anyways, that's in there. Um, you come back here, I did mount my Helix 9 to the dash, so you do have that. You got my Helix 9 right there. Um, this is a dual console boat. Uh, nothing crazy in here. There used to be a radio. I ended up actually taking it out. No reason I never used it in my old boat. And it's now that it's hidden, there's not a hole really that shows. So this is a dual console boat. Right here you got a spot, you know, you can put your, your partner's rods can go right there. Keep those out of the way. Um, back here you got your split live well, which I think I'm going to love. And I did add an aerator uh, for tournaments. So this is a split live well. And as you can see, there's my aerator bubbler. Um, still got the recirc and everything in there. And this is removable. Um, so 
yeah, split, nice little split live well there. And then over here, this is supposed to be in here. So this is more, you know, some of these you'll notice are labeled wrong. I had to use some of my boxes that I had laying around that just fit in here. Is I mainly have 3,700 boxes, and they don't really fit in here. You'll see when we get over to the other storage compartment how my 3,700 boxes work. But these are 3,600s. They fit really, really well. So like you can see, I have all my jerk baits right there. Uh, liplesses, I do have more of those, but I need to get a different storage. All my square bills. Those of you that know me probably know that more often than not, I do have a square bill rod set up at all times, or a lipless rod. Those are probably my go-tos. And then kind of my deeper divers right there for that. And then those of you that know, know I love my spinner baits. This thing is full of spinner baits and chatter baits, so there is that. So let's get these put back in. Sorry for the mess on the deck here. You know, I've been... I had a bunch of mystery tackle boxes and stuff stored up. So I had to go through them and I've been putting them away and such, but here's your other. So right here, you know, I'm gonna have my top water. I try to stay as organized as I can. You know, all the top water stuff's gonna be right there. Uh, skirted jigs. Right there. So you'll have half ounce, three eighths quarter. And then I need to get some eighth ounces for here, even though I probably will never really use those. So those are my skirted jigs. Those of you that know me know that that is another one of my favorite things to throw. And this is probably the box that I'll be going into more often than not. This is going to be my terminal tackle. So right here I have all tungsten weights. I love tungsten. I pretty much did away with lead. I have all my hooks over there. And then some miscellaneous screw in. These are all my lead weights that I don't think I've tied on. A couple of these, pretty excited to try these. These are a mystery tackle box called a Headbanger. So excited to try those out. But other than that, guys, I mean, that's pretty much my boat. Um, pretty much a little tour of getting everything uh, right where I want it to be. Um, you know, it, it feels good, you know, having a bass boat and being able to be organized. And, you know, I think even my favorite kind of fishing, you know, sturgeon and catfishing, I can really see this boat being excel, excelling for me. Just I can get through shallower water. It's faster. Um, I mean, there's just so many things. It, it's in really good shape, you know, for the age. Um, cleans up really nice. Um, my favorite color, blue. You know, that just has to be a coincidence, but it is my favorite color. Um, other than that, I mean, it's. Uh, I'm excited, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Um, you can follow us this year, uh, me and my buddy Dustin Elm. We plan to be hitting a lot of these local and, you know, maybe try to get to a couple specials and drive a couple hours to get to those. But mainly going to stick local, hit some tournaments, and see how we stack up against all these guys that have been doing it probably, you know, for years. You know, I've only fished a couple tournaments, so it's definitely going to be a cool experience, and I'm looking forward to it, guys. So, anyways, that's a little tour of my nitro 700 lx i do have the 115 two stroke on the back mercury it says tracker but it is a mercury too but yeah you guys know that but anyways yeah that's my 700 lx right there boys um i don't know if you guys want to see maybe a little side shot of it but there it is sitting in the garage all pretty and yes i did order a swing tongue for this so it will fit straight into my garage for those that's what everyone's been asking. Does it fit in the garage? Well, when the swing tongue's there, yes, it will. Um, but anyways, guys. Oop, zoomed in there. Sorry about that. Anyways, guys. That's been my tour of this year's tournament rig. My first ever tournament rig. My Nitro 700 LX. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys follow us throughout the year. You know, hopefully we can do something with it. You know, I mean, I don't, I'm confident in my fishing styles and all that. And I'm confident in my partner, Dustin. And, you know, I feel like we might have something for some of these guys. So, you know, it's just one of those things, you know, I, I'm not doing it so much for the bass fishing. I'm doing it for the competition. I love competition, grew up racing and all that stuff. So if you're not first, you're last. That's my mindset. So 
Anyways, guys, I know I've said this a few times now, but I'm just so pumped. You know, I've been in the garage the last three days, but I'm going to quit ranting on. We'll talk to you guys next time. This has been Jason. Peace.